And as usual, I can't see a friggin' thing. Ooh. That worked. Said unboxing Palooza. Hello. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Vivian. I thought I'd have time to eat a Vegemite sandwich. But no, you cheeky monkeys are here quickly. How's it doing? How you doing, Groovers? Chat to me while I'm eating. Is that music a bit loud? The munching corn chips. Yama. Bridget, I've got two boxes. So, a bit excited about that. Bit of techno music. What are you eating? What sort of corn chips? I love the Doritos, the red bag, whatever they are. I am using Streamlabs, yes. It's weird because on my phone where I'm using Streamlabs, Streamlabs it looks like you've got a full view of my living room. But on my laptop I'm pretty close I'm still experimenting with Streamlabs I I thought one of the buggers with using Streamlabs was you couldn't give your video uh, uh, the yellow ones the nacho cheesy I like the red ones are they like nacho supreme or something I always get upset if I buy the wrong ones. <gasps> Blue Chappers, hello. Hello, Groovers. I'm just, I got home, I'm home. I'm wondering if my heating might be up a bit high. I like the writing on the screen too. There's quite a lot of things I like about Streamlabs. Um, the last time I used it though, the chat was huge and was all over the screen. So I sort of shrunk the box, but now it looks teeny tiny. <laughs> I could probably, I am, I'm home from Radelaide, Vivian. Grab your chub chups, people, we're having a rave. Um, it didn't work for you, Bridget? Did you try it on your phone? Not your computer? Because you can go live from your computer using OBS. Um, and I'm going to experiment and see if I can put Streamlabs on my laptop because I prefer it to OBS. OBS is um, pretty complex and I reckon it'll be fun once I learn how to use it because you can, you know, put things up on the screen and get people to call in and all that sort of stuff. Um, but for the moment, I'm happy just using Streamlabs on my phone. I might just turn my heating down a tiny bit. Don't freak out if the tripod moves because I've got wooden floorboards and my house is on stilts. I'm just going to turn the heating down a bit because it's being away for, you know, nearly two weeks. Um, the house gets pretty cold, but because it's so well insulated, like floor, ceiling, walls, 
and it's all glass on each side and it's a pretty narrow house like you can't really see the full extent of it but you can almost see like on that side where that where the bush radio is just beyond that's the one wall and then on that side you can actually see where the wall ends and that's where the windows start so it gets warmed up pretty quickly nice and toasty hey Aussie girl yeah OBS is hard to learn and I was just starting to learn it on my old computer when that blew up so I haven't got back into it but I'm not really sure how I feel about this rave music I'm experimenting I'm trying to find music I like but they all seem to be a bit too you know it's just I like having a bit of noise because it's really quiet being home I've got a couple of possums out of my deck at the moment not my dick <laughs> um, but I always have music playing when I'm not doing this so it's so weird for me Mel Mel what's with the angry faces Oh, you didn't know I was on. God damn your life. Well, I wasn't going to go on, but I've got home, as you can see. And I stopped at the post office and I've got two subscription boxes that we can open. I'm modelling one of the headbands from the single swag. The what, Some of the ones that I'm sending over to you. You haven't missed much. I've basically been eating a Vegemite sandwich and chatting about Streamlabs. Like, I think, what, well, how far in are we? We're, we're seven minutes in. There's been no mention of genitals. We've basically talked music, corn chips, stream labs. But I've got two subscription boxes. And I thought I'd stopped one of the ones that's rocked up. I, I seem to, when you cancel your subscriptions, they've already processed payment for another one. Like, they almost... As soon as they send you one, they they process the payment for the next one. So even though I, I feel like I've unsubscribed, I get these little random surprises. And um, I've got two. I've got my um, penis vagina. Thank you, Mel. We can get on with the show. Yeah, so I've got two. I've got my usual goodness me one. You know, the sort of healthy food and enviro friendly products that one and I've got another single swag from the US of A very excited I got a third it's not really an unboxing but it's um a charity that I support and I really want to do a separate video on the beach for them um and promote the crap out of them because I love them they're called four ocean but I want to save the opening of that to talk about that on the beach. Yeah, little godfather calling you in Darwin to say, what are you doing, Granny? Granny Mel. Off to the camel racing? Spending a bit of time in Kakadu? What are you up to? Oh, you saw kangaroos too. For her excitement for all the Americans they're like see we told you there are kangaroos bouncing down the main road it's so nice to be home. it's so nice to be drinking out of my favorite mug again be amazing everybody be amazing hey I changed my channel name too did you notice that Uh, no, I haven't dyed it darker. It's just I turned the overhead lighting on because I'm, I'm a bit tired. I've been on planes. I've got home. I've unpacked. And, um, they literally do bounce down your road. Well, that's fucking Darwin for you. Black buddy crocodiles bounce down the road too. Um,. You keep cooking there, Mel Mel. I mean, I might open the goodness me one first because that's sort of a bit of a, you know, I'd say it's my regular one that I love. It's not really, um, you're 
you are fairly fucking amazing Aussie girl. I don't know why you felt the need to say that, but I'm glad you did. Cool name? Well, the thing is, I didn't like Talk With Tori. I thought it was Twee and Talk With Tori. And um, this is sort of like a channel that's going to grow into something else. So in the meantime, I just thought I'd come up with something a bit more, I don't know, not wacky or anything. But anyway, so Talk With Tori, I did that in a bit of a, you know, just change my name, change my name, change my name thing. And um, after doing that, I typed in to the YouTube's Talk With Tori and I came up with this rooster. But yeah, no, I haven't dyed my hair darker. It's just ambient lighting. Oh, because of the cup. <laughs> eh. Oh, that's not politically correct, is it? Oh, it is if you're doing it about yourself. So talk with Tori. If you punch that into the old YouTube search machine. Talk with Tori. And there's a girl in America... Talk with Tori. She's got five subs and 12 videos. Don't come looking to bother me. I'm not looking to be with. Hashtag sincerely sex. Hashtag living dead girl. Hashtag don't come looking to bother me. Almost tempted to subscribe to her. So, uh, yeah. I kind of thought, well, you know, and I was going to call it Tory Travels because I thought that was um, a bit more sort of relevant. But if you type in Tory Travels, there's a Tory Travels 16 subs, four videos, and then there's Tory's Travels 1, 2, 3. Then there's Tory's Travel Notes. There's Tory's Island Adventure, Tory's Pre-Departure. There's a shitload of Tories. There's Tory Travels of Melbourne. There's Tory Story. And then there's Downhill from here. Nothing to do with Tory's Travels, but you, you get what I'm saying. Genitalia with Tory. Thanks, Groovers. I like the new name too. Mm. Hola, Hazel. Because if you cut me, because I saw your comment again, I was like, oh, that's funny. Ah, uh, no, definitely don't step away from the corn chips while I open my healthy box. I'm not talking about my fanula. I'm talking about a subscription box for those of you who just arrived. Don't freak out. Do I watch Cameron Doyle? No, Aussie girl, I don't. Should I? Did you not? Uh, yeah, Bridget Parker. That, well, my full name was already out there, but I mean, I kind of had my real name because I wanted to use this channel originally to promote my stand-up comedy. And then I came up with some ideas for some channels which are under development as we speak. One of them's requiring a fair bit of research and a little bit of, I want to do some pre-recorded video type things for that. Um, and the other channel is entirely dependent on me being in Tasmania and within driving distance of my camper van and taking you on some little adventures in Gidget. So, yeah, I kind of flicked the name only because, you know, there's been a bit of wackadoodle doxing type crap going on. Not that anyone would dox me. I mean, I don't know why you'd bother, but in case, you know. And I just felt, you can change it, Bridget. You could take, change it to Bridget's Fanula if you wanted to. You can change it three times in 90 days. Actually, I hit submit and I wish now I'd put a small O for of. I think the capital O looks dumb, but never mind. It's a minor detail. Cameron Doyle has a lot of travel stuff. Awesome. I mean, my travels are a bit, you know, I mean, Tory Travels was, I was even going to take you down to the shop down the street if I had to buy some 
cheese or something, you know. Cameron Doyle. I see in Adelaide. Did I just see Adelaide come up? Oh, cool, he doesn't take his adventures seriously. Where's he from? This is Australia. Is he from Melbourne or Adelaide? Anywho, I've subscribed. I'll check him out. <laughs> you thought about doxing me, Mel Mel. Well, I've been pretty good at doxing you, so, you know. What else is news, motherfuckers? He is cute, yeah. He is cute for a young dude. I'll check him out. I mean, if he's funny, I'll like him. Doesn't have to be cute. If he's funny, he's automatically sexy in my opinion. Or, you know, cute, whatever. Might not be sexy, but... I like boys with brains who are funny as fuck. And Vegemite sandwiches. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yummy. What a healthy supper I'm having. I made the most amazing salad at the Qantas Club in Melbourne for lunch. Excellent. He is funny as fuck. I can't imagine you recommending someone who wasn't funny. Bit bummed I've already lost two viewers, but we are at double figures. Could be time to uh, open a box. What do you reckon? He does radio too. So where is he? It says Australia. He's, he wasn't doing radio when I was. He probably wasn't born when I was doing radio. Port Elliot, South Australian. There you go. Fresh, oh, I'm fresh. I used to be on fresh when I was in Adelaide. Oh, hang on. He started at Fresh in February 2017 and then they farewelled him in November. To Cameron Doyle who played for Collingwood? Remember him? So who does he work for now? What radio station? He wasn't on, it says after spending a year at Fresh. No, sorry, you were welcomed in February and you left in November. That is not a year, Cameron. Oh, my cute plate. It's also Ellen DeGeneres' plate. Oh no, who sends me messages when I'm live? Go away, sorry, little chat bubble. I love these Ellen DeGeneres love plates and mugs. She makes my house feel loved and amazing. Anywho, I'll check out Cameron Doyle. He's occupying way too much of my life. But thanks for the recommendation, Aussie girl. I'd rather see what you groovers are chatting about. Oh, I didn't think to use the photo. I tried to, um, hi Gojo. I tried to change the thumbnail. Still learning this shit. You should see how tiny Chad is now on the screen. <laughs> I don't know, I wonder if I can, no, I probably shouldn't fuck with it while we're live. No, let's not do it. What's in your box? Let's find out. I've had my supper, let's go. It's very dark where I am though, so if I get things and I need to read shit and stuff, I'm just not gonna happen. Um, so we've got the single, oh, we've got single swag. Love yourself. Which I think we'll save that for a second because that's the fun one from America. And I'm pretty sure I've unsubscribed. Not because I didn't like it, I just wanna try different stuff. 
I'm really pissed off though. I ordered a subscription box seven weeks ago and it still hasn't got here. And I've heard murmurings on the YouTubes of people that are about to do some subscription box sort of interactive type things and they're kind of similar to what I've ordered. I'm a bit dark about that. Um, and then this is the goodness me one. So we'll just get it out of the box. I am going to show you my box. I just showed you both of my boxes. Oh, last time when I did this Streamlabs thing, I made a comment about, we were talking about how chat was lagging, and I said, am I lagging or you? And then, might have been you, Mel, but someone was like, how could you be lagging? <laughs> what I meant was um, I was lagging and that I wasn't keeping up with the chat, not that I was slower than the chat, if that makes sense. But anyway, so this is goodness me. For those of you who are new to my channel, I like unboxing stuff. Seems like everybody does now. Um, I didn't even know about subscription boxes till I saw Shanann Watts unbox a FabFitFun box. And I was like, oh, how, what? There's boxes that rock up in the mail and they've got things inside them? Let's check them out. So I started checking out the Australian options and subscribed to a few. And they're just, it's nice to have a chat, but also sort of do, yeah, play with my box. <laughs> See what's in it. And then um, I got, because I've got, you know, a few subscriptions on the go at any one time, then I started getting emails and stuff. You're my favourite bitch, Mel. Hi, Phoenix Lightwing, Vault Fan and Fox. Hello. Hey, by the way, welcome to any new subs. And um, subscribe to everyone's channels. There's no, I don't have any wrenches in here because I know, I mean, I do have a few, but I don't like links being shared when there's a small chat, like 50,000 links. So if there's someone in chat, Kimberly B, good morning. How are you? If there's someone in chat and you're like, oh, I like that person, if you go to the right of their name and the little three dots, you can go on there and it says go to channel and it should open up in a new window and you can subscribe to them. Like Mel Mel, for example. Subscribe to her. Oh my God, I did watch Shazza and the Seven Dorks. I forgot to leave a comment. I was trying to quote you and then um, what happened? The washing machine stopped working and I was like, get real? And I forgot. Uh, but it's funny as fuck. You're such a good writer. Keep, keep, keep on keeping on, Mel. You don't see Phoenix? Oh, because, hi, Red Lotus, how are you? Um, because he's now called, Blue Tape has, um, he's now called Vault Fennec Fox. That is Phoenix Lightwing. Ah, oh, three rums are good for the soul. Speaking of, speaking of, just give me a moment, will you? I need some ice. It's Thursday night, I can have a rum, yeah? Conveniently got a little ginger beer out earlier. Come to mama. Back. Oh, for those of you who like my funky legs, um, I put on some more of my funky legs for tonight. <laughs> I've got so many pairs of crazy yoga pants. Yeah, rum is good for the soul. So a bit of um, medicine. A bit of Bundy. My dad used to rock up to my house. God, he was gorgeous. With a bottle of Bundy for me. And he'd say, I brought you your medicine, Tori. Bless him, I miss him. I'm really missing my mum and dad today for some reason. They're not. It's not anniversaries or anything. I just... My brother got sent a really cute photo of them and... I put it on my Facebook page and I was just like, oh, 
I miss those two cheeky monkeys at the moment, a bit more than usual. Oh, I thought I was pouring that like a wine. Oops. I, I have earned this. And a bit of tazzy ginger beer. Cascade. They make a real beer that's delicious as well. Some of them. Oh, Phoenix, I'm happy to hear all of that. I'm going to try and catch up to everything. That's good. A proper sleep schedule, eating healthy and exercising, all good. Good boy. No one loves Mel except herself. Shanann did open our eyes to a lot of things, bless her. Like She certainly has um, influenced us all, I think. Even, you know, if you take all the sort of I mean, I, I suppose some people are probably taking Thrive now because of her, but if you take all of that stuff out, just her and those little girls and little unborn baby Nico. I was going to do a thing on the weekend. I think I might still do it. I'm going to call a live the Chris Watts experiment. And I'm just, and it's not clickbait because I'm experimenting and I'm going to see how many people I get because there is a channel that some of you might watch and. It's very dull, and that person gets between six and eight hundred viewers every time they go live, and I don't quite understand why or how. And I think it's because she's always got Chris Watts in the title, and she does talk about it all the time, and has done since August, but I am blown away. Cheers, Groovers. I don't normally drink rum and ginger beer in a wine glass but fuck it why not it's Thursday night let's get naked right where are we you keep out at Phoenix when Aussie girl hits the like button it doesn't stay blue does for me you can get into trouble with it if you do that if you like your own videos and stuff but as you all know I'm a bit of a rebel when it comes to the YouTube world right so let's open goodness me cute little box it's like a little farmers market box can't remember the price of it it's about 25 30 bucks a month it's all healthy full-size products and samples and I love it I love it. I get um, snack size things that I can take to work in my little bento box and I get little eco friendly products and I get samples that are brilliant for traveling. Like this trip to Adelaide, I took all these different samples of moisturizer that I've been sent and it was so lovely every day just trying all these yummy moisturizers and on the other side, food with integrity. But this is my um, regular one. Now, here's a message for you, Phoenix. Happiness lies, first of all, in health. I could probably debate that that doesn't actually, that isn't true. I do love a good debate. But health is very important. Health and happiness are very important. But, um... Might have to do a debate one day about that. But yeah, without good health, you, you're kind of screwed a bit, aren't you? Anywho. Why would anyone care about you liking your videos? I think it's to do with, I mean, I'm, I'm a rebel with YouTube. Um, I think it's to do with once you become monetized. I think if you click on your own ads, I don't think liking your own video is a problem. I think it's once you're monetized, if you've got AdSense ads happening on your channel and you click on them, you can get into trouble. Yeah, there you go, Bridget. See, because I mean, you've got the, you know, you've got a chronic illness channel and yeah, I don't think that, I don't think happiness necessarily does lie, first of all, in health. I think people that have got health problems who are still happy despite them, they're getting the happiness from somewhere else, right? 
That is very true to Phoenix. You are very wise. Blue Topaz, you can see Phoenix now. I'm assuming now you know who Vault Phoenix Fox is. Little Phoenix, he's been our mascot since almost since day one. You found my channel when I first started going live. Doesn't it feel like 38 years ago, Phoenix? So here's the little um, tissue paper and sticker of the Goodness Me box. Let's see what's in the box. I'm a bit bummed. I love doing the single swag one with a crowd of people. Should I maybe save that till the weekend? What do you reckon, Groovers? Oh, I'm going to start a Facebook page for all of you to join. The link to Facebook at the moment is my personal one, which I, I'm really slack on that anyway, and I pretty much tweet stuff and it goes onto Facebook or I put Instagram things up and they go onto Facebook. Um, but I'm going to start like a little Facebook community and I was thinking of calling it The Groovers. <laughs> or, you know, we'll think of a name. But, um... Habit of liking, I comment. It looks naked without it. I know, I wish we could like stuff in chat. And I wish we could thumbs up or thumbs down or something. I like the name Phoenix too. <gasps> one love, hello. You have made it to one of my unboxings. Hello, Stop Animal Cruelty. That's a cool name. I agree, and in capital letters too. Yep, totally down with that. Beautiful one love, one of my new newish subs. Thank you for coming along and joining us. I do unboxings. I don't think you've seen me do unboxings yet. I've got two that I can do. I can do a, I can do both of them or I could do one and save the other one for the weekend. I'll wait and see how we feel after we do the goodness me one. But yeah, I agree. Stop animal cruelty for sure. Animals are the best. Not a big fan of the people. Dig the animals. I've got got some floofs out on my deck right now. Some possums. And they're considered a pest here. I mean, they're protected species. But um, they are considered a pest by some people. And some people refer to them as target practice, which is awful. But I love them. I, I love animals. I, give me animals any day of the week. People? Meh. Love you guys, by the way. Whenever I say stuff like that, present company is always excluded. Just so you know. Julian Assange has been arrested? Are you kidding me? What the? Oh, he was actually arrested at the Ecuadorian embassy. Holy shit. Nine minutes ago. Oh, no. That was reported nine minutes ago. Fuck, he's been arrested. Holy shit. Oh, uh, and he's facing extradition to the States for, the, for WikiLeaks criminal charges. So that Ecuador's ended the, his six and a half year political asylum in the embassy in London. His discourteous and aggressive behaviour and WikiLeaks hostile and threatening declarations against Ecuador led to his asylum being withdrawn. Holy shit. The asylum of Mr. Assange is unsustainable, no longer viable. The patience of Ecuador has reached its limit. This is full on. The UK government promised in writing Assange would not be extradited to a country where he could face torture or the death penalty. Right, so he had strict conditions when he was in the embassy, embassy and Assange had broken them, particularly violated the rule of not intervening in the eternal affairs of other states and did that most recently in January when WikiLeaks leaked Vatican documents. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, so he's clearly still leaked, uh, linked to WikiLeaks. 
He'd also confronted and mistreated guards at the embassy, accessed security files without permission, had kept a secret mobile phone to communicate to the outside world, and he'd also installed electronic and distortion equipment to foil embassy surveillance and block security cameras. Got to give it to the guy. He's pretty fucking smart, isn't he? I'm just skimming through. This is a really full-on article. So he's been... <coughs> Pardon me. I need more rum. So he's been taken into custody at the Central London Police Station where he will remain before being presented before Westminster Magistrates Court as soon as possible. I'm still flicking. Swedish authorities have since closed their investigation. However, it's possible they might renew calls for him to go to Sweden to face court over one allegation. Faces likely extradition to the US. He would not receive a fair trial. Faces criminal charges relating to publication of classified documents by WikiLeaks. Also accused of aiding Russia's interference in the 2016 US presidential election by distributing a trove of emails stolen from the Clinton campaign and Democratic, Democratic Party. More to come. Well, there you go. That's big news. Tories now on News Channel with breaking news. That's it from me. Back to you in the newsroom, Barry. Hi, Jazzy girl. You're not late. You're not late. Um, right, so thanks for that up that info, Gojo. Appreciate it. That's the news I would like you guys to chat about when you're in here with me. I don't want to talk about the drama channels. I've been really clear about that. And I did actually replay... Um, my live part of the live that I did on because I'm still learning Streamlabs and I wanted to learn how to change the chat box and now I've made it too small so I'll fix that tomorrow but um news news let's talk about that stuff but I did notice some people were chatting about some of the drama stuff in my chat and I can't I don't want to be an asshole and say you can't talk about that stuff in here but I don't want you guys to because to me it's hearsay and the drama channels have all got sides and I don't watch the drama lives and stuff because I'm not interested. And if I was interested, I'd be watching them. So I'm down with you guys coming in here, but there's no point chatting about that stuff in my channel because I don't want to know. Okay, and if I do want to know, I'll check it out myself and make my own opinion of it. But um, I want to talk about interesting shit like Julian Assange being arrested. Like that's full on. That's good stuff. That being said, with the drama channels, if the people that have got drama going on are also doing content, I'm quite happy to watch content that they're doing. But, yeah, I kind of don't want to discuss in here. Because there's people from all sides of the fence probably drifting in and out of my channel, and I'd like everyone just to come here and hang out and chat. And if you want to chat drama, start your own channel and chat about it, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. But the... Vivi the the Gojo's um, announcement, that sort of stuff, bring it on. Let's talk about interesting shit, yeah? Because the drama's not going to go away, I don't think. I think it's going to keep happening. And I think the risk of discussing it on any channel is you're putting yourself out there to be the next person to become part of the drama. I don't want to. New. No. So the only rules I've got for my mods, not that any of them are around, but is... Um, to time out people if they start talking about other YouTube creators. Talk about people in a positive way, bring it on. Start talking about what you heard on another channel about another YouTube creator. You'll be sent into the naughty corner and you'll have to sit there and watch us all having a great time getting naked and dancing on the tables while you're in time out. Um, my mods are going to be like little super nannies. You'll have to go into the timeout corner and face the wall for three minutes or whatever it is. 300 seconds? Five minutes? Anywho, just wanted to clear, clarify that. Clarify that. Vault Phoenix Fox. 
We still love Phoenix Lightwing though, because that, yeah, that was your original name, a bit like two dicks touching together. God, I wish that troll would come back. Wasn't he fabulous? Two dicks touching together became a thing of legend. Yeah, Bridget, possums are super cute. I'm just going to race through these. Um, Helen, your stop animal cruelty. Are you in? Are you in here at the moment with both of your profiles? But I do love your name. Two accounts. I'm going to have three accounts. Blue Topaz, because I'm going to have this channel Go Gidget Go, and I can't tell you the third one's name yet. But it is true crime, but with a twist. Watch this space. He doesn't look well. I saw him coming out of the embassy too in that article. There's a photo. Well, it's actually a video. You're right. Um, he doesn't look well at all. He's all sort of hunched over. Is that just because of the... Is he shackled or something? I don't think I like the beard. I'm not into blondes or white-haired dudes, but I used to think he was a bit of an all right. You know, I was a bit, bit of a fan of WikiLeaks. I thought it was a great concept. He wasn't happy getting... God, they're pushing him in the van. It looks like he fell over. God, they were a bit rough. Those bobbies roughed him up a little bit there. Sunny day in London. That's a novelty. Anyway, there he is. He's in the van and off they go. Yeah, he doesn't look great. You're right. You are correct, Bridget. Jazzy girl, no, you're not late. I'm late now. Grab your coffee, one love. You probably have by now because I've been crapping on. Um, yeah, Will Phoenix, I've got to catch up. Sorry, dude. Do, 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 do. Go like these mods were subscribing to your account. Hmm. He did look old. I agree, Aussie girl. Phoenix. People say furries are not good. If so, how come we're the second biggest donators to animal cruelty charities just under billionaires? And when we come to town. Yeah, I still... I know you're into your furries and it's great. But I think it's one of those things that I'm just going to miss out on ever really fully understanding but the fact that you're the second biggest donators animal anti-animal cruelty um that's great I, I like that so you keep up the work actually i don't know if you guys have seen it but there's a really good good but devastating um thing going around on facebook about a farm where vegans actually released um, a heap of five-month-old chickens out of this um, big, spacious, electrified fence, but not that they could get zapped hard, but they were all safe, and it was a farm, like it's an egg-producing, free-range farm, and they set them free, and every single one of them, I think there were like 400 of them. Hi, Nika. Um, they were eaten by foxes and dogs. Every single one was killed. Like, sorry, but fuck the vegans for doing that. It's it's going around on Facebook. I can't remember the name of the farm. I've got to get on with stuff, but I'll um I'll look into that too. It's on my it'll be on my Facebook page. But it just, you know, some of these protests, they're actually exposing these animals to horrific fates. And this beautiful man had hand raised these little pullets with his daughters and they were only five months old and they woke up and just the whole paddock was just covered in their dead chicken. It was awful. Absolutely awful, you know. They make out vegans make out there against animal cruelty and they essentially fed all of these chickens to foxes and dogs. It's just it's just devastating and I hope it goes viral because yeah, hypocrisy much. God, we're getting too serious. I haven't started unboxing. Guy on telly live from Hobart. 
That's amazing, Vivian. We don't have television here yet. <laughs> I wonder what he's up to. Um, yeah, Bridget, fuck the drama. I mean, if they want to do it, do it. And if people are into it, I don't have a problem with that. I'm just not. And I'm a, I'm a bloody lawyer, you know, like hearsay is inadmissible in court. I don't want, it's inadmissible in my chat as well. <laughs> it's going to be timed out. I don't care because I, I like everybody, you know. I think everyone's got good qualities and if there's drama going on, that's between all of them. Let's see what's in my box. Let's get on with that, shall we? I did read your comment, Phoenix. Helen, I, being a wrench is overrated. Hi, mac and cheese. The Bible scriptures. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that God thing yet. Right, that's a, a reminder to do that too. Yeah, the two tigers that live in the house, Aussie girl. I've seen how much tigers piss. I don't know if they'd be great housemates, to be honest. Did you guys hear about that Tory chick on her live? I think Mel's joke happened at a time and I missed it. Uh, Blue Topaz. Yeah, well, it does give people anxiety. And I, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of channels talking about it. I, I think anyone that's really into it and wants to discuss it, you can find a shitload of channels already talking about it. Put it this way, nobody chatting about it in my chat's going to convince me to take a side, so what's the point? Uh, I make up my own opinion about how I feel about people, so there's plenty of good people out there too. Let's talk about them. They are, Phoenix, they are, um, I, Mel's put a hand over her face again and I've got no idea why. And that's great, Helen. Like, I'm, I, you know, good vegans that don't use any products tested on... Well, I haven't used animal product products tested on animals for a long time either. Um, but I do have leather, I have to admit. Um, I do have some leather items. There's a shitload of vegans who wear leather shoes, though. News is my niche, Bridget. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Hi, Sandy. Stop sounding so smart and open your box. Let's see your box. All right. Face palm for the chickens being let out. Yeah, I know. It's really devastating. I mean, it's... When I said beautiful, the way it's been written, it's really poignant. I mean, he's not going fuck vegans because obviously not all vegans are responsible. It's extremists in every group that cause problems. But um, he just writes it as it, as as it is and he's like you know in all their wisdom they thought they were doing a great thing and they actually sent all these chickens to their death in the most vicious graphic awful way well they were safe and happy running free in their enclosure and that's oh that was the thing he said too is a lot of vegan propaganda at the moment the hardcore ones that are protesting keep showing photos of, with them with all these animals saying that they've rescued them and he's like they haven't they've actually stolen them you know it, it's not great but let's not get too serious oh you have no sound tommy uh hi tommy you're new to this little channel of mine um what are we going to do about Tommy not having sound? Have you checked your own sound? Can everyone else hear me? Surely you're not all sitting there watching me just like. You did watch it, Helen? Fuck, it's funny, isn't it? Correct, Phoenix. It's not going to happen overnight, is it? Everyone can hear. Tommy, can you hear me? Ozzy can. Tommy has no sound. How do we tell Tommy? Because he can't hear me. Um, Tommy. So, hang on. Let's type him a message. Tommy, it must be you. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Tommy. 
Oh, Tommy, it's you, not me. Check. Can you hear the possums? That poor little possies were given the worst voices. They always sound like they're, I mean, sometimes they are fighting, but poor little buggers when they're just communicating with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Is Please mime it. Tommy, go out, come back. Everyone else, see, Bridget could hear the possums. You missed hearing the possums. Tommy. Thanks, um, Nika. I like the new name too. I think the other one was a bit bleh. And, uh, but as far as misadventures go, we're not really going on many at the moment. Don't know the dog. You could come back in, Tommy. I wonder if that's Tommy with the big dick. Tommy Lee? Was it Tommy Lee? Who's the guy we're talking about with the big cock? Tommy Lee. Pamela Anderson's ex-husband. Tommy Lee, isn't it? Was it Tommy Lee? I can't. You know when you say something and then you're like, that's not right. It must be Tommy Lee. Wouldn't that be hilarious if Tommy Lee, came, the real Tommy Lee came in? Because now I'm thinking, yeah, Tommy Lee. Do you reckon that's Tommy? We've had this music before. Well, hello there, Tommy. Come any time. No, the possums are cute, Blue Topaz. It's the goat man, Tommy Gunn. Tommy, I'm so sorry if you can hear me now and no, you saw me doing that. We we talked about Tommy Lee the other day. It's Tommy from the Goat Farm. It was who else came in? It was M Beth and um Omar Fraze and I watching the little goats being born. I keep popping in, Tommy, but you've moved them. They're not in the enclosure anymore. There's there's a mummy goat and two um black and white babies. Like where's the mini me gone? Tommy is in the room and it's not, it's Tommy's, I'll give you, go to Tommy's channel, it's the best. He's got this elevator music, yeah, we're back in that again. I'm going to turn it right down. Hi, Rose Bush. Rose says hello. Um, Tommy, is Tommy coming back? Is he back? You've got to go to his channel. Yeah, this was that romantic music the other day. Oh, Zoo Crew, that's not his one though. It's it's Tommy's Live Goats Deer Cam, I think they're called. Yeah, hang on. This is such a cute channel and they're always live. And we got to see these little goats. But Oh my God, it's snowing, Tommy. I'm sending you all this. You all have to subscribe to Tommy's channel oh, I'm glad you got sound now Tommy I'm so sorry before I was making well we often end up talking about genitals in this channel hang on I'm just going to send the link to your channel everyone sign up to Tommy's um, live goats and deer cam it's so gorgeous it's so gorgeous but they've got snow, it's snowing. But Tommy, you've moved the goat, the mummy goat and the little new babies aren't in that enclosure anymore. I went there and there's like the other mum with the little black and white babies, the little black and white kids are there. But where have the other ones gone? But yeah, do sign up to his channel. It's really sweet. And that's what I was saying the other night. Um, and then old my Fraze and I think it was... Um, E Beth, Beth M, one of them, 
a bit more. Why have they all got names that are the same? I can't keep up. But anyway, we watched them being born. It was superb. They're in another room. Okay, Mel, you go and get your Depends, darling. Karina K, hello, gorgeous. Master Groover. So, Tommy, my, um, you just missed, unfortunately, while you didn't have any sound, two brush, Australian brush tail possums were having a bit of a chat out on the deck and it freaked a lot of uh, non-Australians out. But I've got wild animals here. I, I travel a lot with my job, so I can't have pets. So I'm friends with all my native critters. I'm in a coastal area pretty close like to the beach but I've also got a bush setting an Australian bush so I get and I have actually taken in the past we've actually gone out on the deck and had a look at some of the possums but I've got about well I've got three clans of possums so I've got three females all with joeys at the moment plus I've got a little joey orphan um but she's big enough to survive and I've got echidnas bandicoots um I've got a lot of birds blue tongue lizard the occasional potteroo there is a wallaby in the area but um doesn't often come into my block because I haven't got a lot of grass none of us have at the moment we've come out of an Aussie summer without much grass so it's yeah, I don't have the the quite the same, but I'm tem I'm so tempted to put a um, motion sensor sensitive camera on my deck just so I can get some footage of the possums because their acrobatics are hilarious. Very different to your opossums, the brushies. They're um they're not weird looking for starters, <laughs> but they're weird sounding, and they were making some noises before, and a few people were freaking out. Yeah, I know, Tommy Lee. Yeah, the orphan is called Mel Mel. She's so cute. Rose, I'm in Hobart. Yeah, I think one of those little cameras, friends of mine have got a um, an old cattle run in Tassie further up the east coast, and they've had footage of numerous critter, critters, lots of possums. Possums are so curious. They know if something new is out outside like if I leave something out on the deck they haven't seen before they all check it out yeah the brush tail possums are super cute correct Mel it's because you're cute in fact I'll put a link in here for anyone who wants to have a look of our cute little brushies and we've got um ringtail possums too and they're super cute as well that's not a very good photo. I'll find a cute one. They're all cute now. I need to find a mama and a joey. Oh, there's a brushy with an albino. They're an albino joey. They're kind of rare. Oh, no, that's a golden possum. Huh, none of them are as cute as mine. <laughs> Oh, there's one that looks like little Mel Mel, sort of. The mountain brush tail. He's a bit of a scruffy dude. Sorry, Mel Mel, but you're the little orphan is a bit scruffy because she doesn't have a mum to help groom her. Very cute, though. She's very cute. She's become quite a good mate. I'm biased. Mine are cuter than these ones. I don't want to send a link to one that isn't as cute as mine. My clan. The Tassie ones are usually grey or chocolate brown and they're pretty fat like everything in Tasmania because the eating here is mighty fine. Why you wouldn't want to be a possum in Tassie? Huh? Oh, perfect. Cuteness. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't see that. Right. Uh, anyway, Google them. They're cute. Or watch me take people out on my deck. Oh, I'm reading Tommy's chat. I'm going, who's that person? I've never heard of her before. You are feral. 
You're the oldest and 50. Sandy, you're not the oldest. Mac and cheese has a boring old cat digging through the garbage. Um, blue topaz, yeah, they, they'll buy it. I mean, they've got teeth, but they don't just walk up to you and bite you. You know, they've got to feel threatened. They're actually um, very curious and sweet. I I can pat some of mine, which is not recommended, um, but I've done a wildlife carers course and I've actually spoken to people who run it about my affection for my brushies and because of where I live and the amount of land that I've got it's unlikely that they're going outside my territory but generally they would discourage people from um, becoming friends with wild animals because then they start to trust humans and not all humans are nice so but they certainly can bite yeah and they've got big claws as well but if you need to if they're injured and you need to pick them up you pick them up by their tail by the, and then they don't have really quick reflexes to come up and bite your hand and by the time you've got them into a bag and they're not going to die or anything like you, it's a safe thing to do and then they just snuggle down inside like if they're babies you put them in a beanie and put them inside a like a coffee bean bag or you can put them in a pillowcase I'm older than you Sandy you're not the oldest I'm older than you too one love Okay, I'm getting I'm getting confused with all of the adoptions and stuff on this channel. Sandy wants to adopt you, Mel, as your as her little sis. She has to ask Blue Topaz. Good grape. All right. Well, let's see what's in the box. Hi, Stephanie Brown. How are you? Where are you now? What part of the world are you in? Why aren't you one of my um, Wrenchies, Steph? Steph's a wrench uh, mod um, in my child free group. She's a member of the mod squad. It's been around for over 10 years, that group. She knows how to wield a wrench. <laughs> Although in our mod squad, we put, pe we put members in our Facebook group in a cannon and fire them out of the group. I'm giving you a wrench a -rooney. Not that you're gonna need it, darling. Um, you won't even know why I'm going to wrench it, but I just, um, I don't recognise you without a band hammer. <laughs> I'm opening the, the box is up. Vivian, okay, Vivian's winning. You're back in Korea. You, God, you had some amazing travels. When are we meeting up? We've got to make this happen. 2020? Let's do this. Um... Blue Chai Pass, you're going to have to get more things for your house. Right, we're doing this box, but we're not going to do the other one. I'm going to save that. I had 20 people at one stage and now everyone's leaving. And I don't want to do the other unboxing until like 7. Well, not even 7, until like 1 probably. So goodness me. Um, oh, I don't want to see what's in it. But they send you lots of products and there's usually a competition. And there's a recipe on the back which usually highlights one of the products. And it's all lovely. We'll look at that later. Or well, probably won't because I can't see anything. It's actually very dark. It's way darker where I am than it looks to you. And it looks pretty dark to you. Box, box, box. My wrenches don't do anything. I love trolls. I convert trolls into loyal subs. Well, we've got to have an Aboriginal cousin, so I might as well be you, Aussie girl. I'm half fries, half Aboriginal, half Corky, Caucasian. You've got to, we need you guys. You're the ones that are going to bring some culture into this family. Right, so what have we got in the box? Let's see. I'm going to save single swag for the weekend. Oh, my favourite brand of tea. And it's Morning Mojo. I actually drink this. Not, I don't have any Morning Mojo, but I love the higher living teas. Look how cute their graphics are. 
So I'm a bit stoked about this because I like trying all their new, like trying all their different flavours. And the other reason I love Higher Living, I'll show you there. What does it say on the back? At Higher Living, we like to do blends with a twist from vibrantly fruity infusions to deliciously delicate blends. Even this pack is a playground for the creatively inclined. So yeah, what you do with these boxes, no, they just said they're create. I don't want to break it. I can't see what I'm doing. But what they do is you can open out the box and there's always like a project. And I think this one's a colouring in one. Don't fuck it up, Tori. All right, so. So these are like the little individual tea bags. This is a full pack, a full box, but look how cute these are. I love they do, um, my favorite ones in this brand, there's a detox that my sister put me onto that even if you're not wanting to detox, it's just the yummiest blend. Um, and I also love their cinnamon, their licorice, and their, they've got a cocoa and chili one. But this is the, the one in this pack. How cute is the packaging? Gorgeous, like organic teas, but then, if you empty out the box, you're going to be able to see it. You have to sort of pull the box apart. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it or not, but in there, inside the box, it's pretty fine, but like it's a colouring in thing. See that? <laughs> Probably not. Cute teas. I love to colour too. Macajet. Well, yeah, the the wrenches. Well, I want I want the trolls. That's the problem. The terrible wrenches for me are the, the ones that get rid of the trolls. Have you noticed though on some channels the wrenches are just like doing what they want to do, not what the channel creators like. The channel creators going, can you not unblock people? I mean, can you not block people or hide people? If I was given a wrench, I'd be like, can someone tell me what I do? And if they don't tell me what I'm meant to do, I just don't do anything. But yeah, so there's a really intricate little pattern in there on there. To, it's really hard to show it. But anyway, I've got a tea caddy that I put on my, um, like it's a big retro. I'll go and get it actually because I love it. And I can put my tea bags in it. Old Granny Wawa's cake tin. How Aussie are these from the 70s? And I just throw all my herbal teas in together. I drink a lot and a lot and a lot of tea. In they go. I've got a shitload of tea because subscription boxes. And I play Lucky Dip. If I feel like a cup or I just open the lid, chuck my hand in and whatever comes out. That's what we're having. But very excited about these because, yeah, like there's an evening blend that they do. It's my, they're my favourite teas. This one is divine. The cocoa and chilli one. And I also love, yeah, the licorice. And they've got a cinnamon one that I love as well. So Australians, keep an eye for them. I buy mine at Coles. I was going to try and find you the other ones. But you really don't need to see shitloads of tea bags, do you? Yeah, so there's a little colouring pick inside. Um, some wrenches do go rogue. A lot of people let their wrenches go to their head. Yeah, I know it's a bit hard to see it, Sandy, because it's um it's in silver, the diagram, the to colour in, but it's pretty gorgeous. It's got it's got the same birds that are on the tea bag. I'll colour it in and then I'll um, show it to you. Sometimes I love to, if I just want to think about comedy writing, I like to just sit and colour. Because then I just sort of go into this little, not meditative state, but I just sort of go into this little zone and then I'm able to sort of let thoughts come in and I write stuff down. Bye, Helen. Yeah, peppermint tea, Karina K, really good for endo and cramps and stuff. 
Uh, I agree, blue topaz. I mean, the, you know, the thing is, though, with a channel of my size, it's easy enough for me just to hide those um, ning nongs. You do that before you sleep. What's that, Mel? Do colouring or? <laughs> yeah, do you know um, Sting? Years and years ago, I saw Sting being interviewed, and he, his album Dream of the Blue Turtles, all of the songs on that album he wrote in the middle of the night because he trained himself to wake up from a dream and he had a notepad and pen by the side of his bed and he'd just sit there and write the dream down and then go back to sleep and wake up in the morning and he'd have a song written. It was incredible. So I've always got a paper, piece of paper or like a notebook and a pen next to my bed in case, but it's never happened. I've never woken up from a dream ever and gone, oh, ever. Yeah, the trick with stand-up comedy too, we were taught, is to always have paper and a pen on you because if ideas pop into your head and you're like, I'll remember that later because it's so fucking funny. And then a bit later you're like, what was that idea? Fuck, I've forgotten it. You just need to get in the habit. And people go, oh, you can write notes on your phone, but it's not the same. You, I've seen you with your, um, um, when you do your horoscopes, I was going your astrology, when you do your horoscopes, you're obviously reading something you've written by hand. And um, I really love that you write. You write. And I write too. I don't put shit on my phone. I still have a, you know, like a real diary. Everyone goes, why don't you put it put it on your phone? It's like, because phones get lost and blow up and fall apart. And I like writing. I love peppermint tea too. I love, I love all teas actually. Yeah, try it, Mel. Seriously, he um, Sting just said that he he would he, even if he was having like you know when you're in a shallow dream uh, sleep state and you have a little dream, he he would actually hear his voice saying, "Write that down. Wake up. Write it down." And he'd just sit up in bed, put the light on, and write it down. But yeah, Dream of the Blue Turtles. That entire album is songs that he wrote while he was dreaming, and he just sat up and scribbled it all down. Oh, look, Mel, don't get all the attention. Everyone's saying you're a hysterical. I'm meant to be the funny one. I'm being a bit boring with my box. Karina. <laughs> yeah, um, my handwriting's getting terrible too because we just don't write like we used to. And it, I really love sitting down now with beautiful paper and a beautiful pen and taking time to write and making my handwriting neat. That was one thing I noticed when I lived in America. Everyone's handwriting was so neat and all very, not similar, but like similarly perfect. And yeah, I don't know what it is about America, but everyone's handwriting is gorgeous. I'm left-handed. Mine's a scribbly scroll. Yes, everyone in here who hasn't sub subbed to Mel, please do. Get on the Mel Mel train. In the meantime, oh yum, this is going in the fridge. I'm having this tomorrow morning. It's an organic salted caramel coconut milk. I haven't seen this brand. Look at that funky decoration. Yum. I just hope, the, oh, it's Bonsoi. I've heard of them before, but I haven't seen this at all. Luscious lip smacking coconut concoctions. Mm -mm -mm. I love anything coconut. Coconut milk is a favourite, and I'm loving that they're bringing out all these different flavoured versions. I mean, I'm happy to drink it straight out of the carton as is, but yum, I'm happy with that. Give that a crack. Vegan and dairy free. Oh, coconut yogurt. <gasps> My God, that's great. And don't go down the, oh, it's a sweet coconut flavoured road because if you put something like turmeric through it, it ends up being a beautiful spicy um, sauce to have on like Middle Eastern food or if you do like a, even if you do like a peri-peri chicken or something like that, put a bit of 
spice through coconut yogurt. It is so yummy and so simple. And it doesn't taste, don't, don't go, oh my God, I'm going to be putting coconuts on chicken because that's not quite how it works. Experiment a bit. But yeah, coconut yogurt and turmeric. Mm -mm -mm. Could put a bit of garlic through, a bit of chili through, some fresh herbs, and you have the best sauce to put on anything fish, meat, chicken, roasted vegetables, kofta, falafel, anything. It's divine. Very good with a curry, too. Well done. Karina's already subbed to me. Oh, that's cool. Sandy went to Catholic school and they smacked your hands with a ruler. I, my hand got smacked with a ruler because I was left-handed and my writing was fairly good on my left side. But when the teachers came past, I'd swap hands and write with my right hand so I wouldn't get whacked with a ruler. But look at us all. We're fine. I've got a slight tick, but, you know, other than that, I tend... Great. Up your bum, Catholic school. St. Aloysius I went to and Sister Tarsicius went out of her way to make my life hell because I was left-handed. She was convinced that I was in league with Lucifer. I was the spawn of Satan. And then my little brother's left-handed too and he copped the same stuff. We were, we were her targets constantly because we're in league with Lucifer. Fucking Sister Tarsicius. The only good thing about Sister Sister Tarsicius is she was about 78 when I was at St. Aloysius, so she's well and truly carked it. It's the only positive thing I can say about that woman. It is a hard road, Bridget. Of course Josh, he's left-handed because he's perfect. It is very expensive, Blue Topaz, but it's worth it. And... You know, I'm really anti-food waste and the one thing I love about paying a little bit more for a product is I make sure I eat every single crumb, drop, blob, nothing gets wasted. But it is expensive, but shop around, you can, um, you can get, like they do, they're starting to have more brands now, it's becoming, well this is in Australia, but I imagine New Zealand would be the same. Because there's a few more brands now, it's getting a bit more competitive and prices are coming down a little bit. Um, but that being said, I also love, you know, the sort of Greek style yogurts and we've got a beautiful brand in Tassie called Tamar Valley and oh my God, that stuff. I seriously could have a bath in it. Yeah, the devil... Lefties do have more accidents in old age. And I think we die younger than right-handed people because we have all the accidents. Oh, your little prawn head's finally gone to sleep. One loves left-handed too, prawn head. Sandy's getting hers up for school. There are a lot of lefties in here. But see, in my family, my dad, me and my brother, all three of us left-handed, my mum and my sister right-handed, so as a little kid, left-handed was normal, like, to us. We didn't realise we were freaks until we were sent off to school and then we were copying rulers on our knuckles. I had my hand strapped when I left that Catholic school and went to a uniting church school. I used to swap my hand, my pen over because I was so scared I was going to get strapped. But in my family, the majority of us were left-handed, so the, it was the right-handed people in our family that were a bit, they are a bit strange. And my nieces, one of my nieces is left-handed. I think she's the only one, though, out of all of my nieces and nephews. I think the rest of them are right-handed. But, yeah, it was... Left-handed people rocked our house, ruled it. We rocked and ruled it. So there, coconut stuff, great. And we've got the tea... Happy days. I'm hungry. What's this? Bliss Fit Granola. Activated. Handcrafted with love. Oh, it's a turmeric flavoured one. Yum. Turmeric Blast. Bliss Fit. I'm not actually going to open that and eat it now because um, 
that's the sort of little snack that will be perfect after yoga. And like one type of yoga that I do, we all get a bit lightheaded, so I'm actually going to keep that um, and pop it in my bag next time I go to yoga, and I'll let you know what it's like. But it's no additives, no preservatives, refined sugar. Oh, wow, well, I can text a number and they're going to send me some free single-serve sachets. All right. Well, anyway, there you go. I'll give them a crack. I love all that healthy stuff. I love nuts. I love seeds. I love spices. Turmeric, bring it on. Happy with that. I might eat this. What's this? Oh, hemp. Oh, no, I'm going to save this too. This is a chopped banana and coconut bar. Raw, organic, no added sugar. Love the hemp stuff, but look at the flavours. Three of my favourites. Chocolate, banana and coconut. Are you shitting me? Goodness me. <gasps> Yum. I know, activated. Is that bloody peat? You know, peat and manu? My kitchen rules. Peat. He's the one that started that whole activated almond thing. What's that cockhead's name? Hi, old Mafra. Yeah, it's the trendy thing, Vivian. They activate, he was like activated almonds. What is that dickhead's name? Pete. Pete, MKR. Pete Evans. Left his beautiful wife for a New Zealand porn star, I believe. I mean, not that there's any issue with that. He's got incredibly beautiful blue eyes. Pete Evans, yeah. He just, oh, Sandy, shit. Of, the, of all the allergies. See, I, coconut and bananas save my life on a weekly basis. I'd be fucked without them. But then I guess if you're allergic to them, you find something else that saves your life on a weekly basis. Weird eyes from Mel Mel. Why the weird eyes? One love, I'm the same. Did I have special pens for you, Sandy? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I had special scissors though, but they broke. Mum had a friend who lived in the UK and there was a left-handed shop in London um, and she got me these left-handed scissors and they were fantastic and they broke. I reckon I had them for close to 30 years before they broke. But these days, yeah, cutting things, I've got to be, I've got to try scissors. Like I can't, if I go to a stationery shop, if they're in a plastic package, if they're in plastic packaging, I can't buy them. I need to actually see if I can cut them. But I can play ambidextrous tennis. So if someone does a shot over at me thinking I'm going to have to do a backhand, I can just swap the racket and whack back a forehand and it freaks people out. And most sports I play tend to play right-handed. Again, that power thing, the power comment you made, one love, a bit the same. Um, but I love playing ambidextrous tennis and it's not against the rules and it pisses people off big time. So there you go. Here's Paleo, if we're still talking about. Um, being there left a... Here's a bit of a wanker, Aussie. Um, being there left a message on my live and I sent her a message back and I'm going to text her tomorrow or not tomorrow, the weekend. Fuck, I wish this tomorrow was the weekend. It's not, is it? It's fucking Friday. Wine saves your life on a weekly basis. Well, cheers to you, Vivian. Whatever it takes. Oh, Sandy, gosh, you got to do it. Yeah, what are Ch what's Charlie horses? Yeah, Mel Mel um, and Sandy, being there, did put a comment on my last live. And she'd seen the Save Robbie video telling people that my channel and I was how, how upset I was I couldn't go live and she was worried about me but I didn't see it till tonight when I got home her comments so I just responded to her and I'm okay and I'll text her 
either tomorrow or on the weekend. But she's 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 around. I haven't actually checked my email for ages too. She does email quite frequently too. A left-handed bowling ball, Karina. <laughs> Charlie's horses. It's when you get a muscle cramp and it feels like your muscle's going to explode. Oh, yeah, so just, it's a muscle cramp. So is this an American thing? Because don't we just call it cramps here? The oh, fuck, I've got a cramp. And then you have to, like, point your toes. Intense cramping. I get some pretty intense. I mean, I think cramps generally are intense in your, when you get those muscular ones. They're horrible. I hate that cramp in your leg. Charlie's horse. Was it horses or Charlie's horse? Charlie's Charlie horses. How does a stomach cramp become a? I think it's just your leg. <laughs> Unless you've got a leg up your clacker. Yeah, they they are kind of like shin splints. We think it might be an American expression of my frog. Well, that, yeah, well, Steph, Steph Brown's American too. So is this an American thing, Steph? It's just Charlie Horse, no horses. You can't move it. It's awful. Yeah, American slang, maybe. What did I say to some Americans today that they don't use an expression? Oh, you know, if you like... The polite way of saying, oh, fuck, is crumbs. Like, if you know you bump, you stub your toe or something in crumbs. Does anyone else say that? Or is it an English thing? Settle, kitties. Possums are excited because I'm home after 10 days and they all want treats. Charlie's horse ain't going to win the Melbourne Cup, no. Fortnite, yeah, you guys think that's hilarious. Oh, you can see the muscle tighten up, Steph. Oh, my frog got cramps in her toes when she was pregnant. You should say little people, Mel Mel. But I love the word midget so much. And I used to work with a dwarf who liked the name words dwarf and midget but couldn't stand little people because he thought it was patronising. And I think it is too. Like, would the little person like to have lunch with me today? Midget, dwarf, they're good, strong words. And he was, well, he had dwarfism, but he liked being referred to as a dwarf or a midget. He's like, that's what I am, but little person? It's like, I know I'm fucking little, I'm a dwarf. I don't need to be called a little person, just call me a fucking midget. <laughs> he didn't say that, that was me. But his point was that he thought it was really patronising and I agreed. I said, you're right, you little fucking midget. Let's go to work. And we did. David, his name was. Freaked me out, though. The first time I worked with him, we had to go somewhere in a car. He's like, I'll drive. And I'm like, your feet aren't going to get anywhere near the pedals. And they, he had like a modified car. And people's reactions, when we were at the traffic lights and they'd look across and see a dwarf driving the car, they'd be like, double taking and freaking and he used to have like the most spectacular taste in electronic dance music which I also love so we'd have this full on EDM playing and just used to piss ourselves watching people checking him out though it was hilarious very funny he was a hurt I should see if I can find where he is he's in Adelaide too by the way for is, is Vivian still around look out for a dwarf called Dave he's awesome Political correctness, we could do, I could do 28,000 shows on why political correctness sucks. But you have heard the expression crumbs, South African thing too. The fuck word comes out of my mouth when I stub my toe as well, one love. But like, my point was, if you're in a church or something and you want to go, oh, fuck, and you can't, you just got crumbs. But it looks like a few people... Oh, Ma knows it. Yeah, it's kind of like a granny saying. I don't know if it gets used that much anymore. 
Oh, uh, Mel Barrow, you always, what did you, you always walk in, we walked in on something the other day too. And then Joey the Veg Wilson always walks in right after I say camel toe <laughs> or vagina or something. I love the word midget too, Steph. I don't think it's, I mean, I, I watched, um, I watched midget porn or was it dwarf porn? Can't remember because I was told to watch it because it was hilarious and it was, um, I can't remember the name of the actual porn, but it was starring Gidget the Midget and Frank the Angry Dwarf. And there was one other one. Might have been Bridget. I think it might have been Bridget and Gidget. One of them was like just Bridget and the other one was Gidget the Midget and then Frank the Angry Dwarf. I used to do a comedy routine about it. It was one of the funniest pawns I've ever seen. I mean, the it was a full-on pawn, but the script was fucking gold. Absolutely hilarious. And it had a ripper little bound, chick to bound, bound. But in that, it was Gidget Midget, not Gidget the Midget. Gidget Midget, Bridget and Frank the Angry Dwarf. Google it. Just not at work. No, the box isn't done. I want to do it too. I have, well, I am on the run, but I've only had like, that's the first glass. Make me sound like I'm a boozer, Blue Topaz. <laughs> Pinky finger. No, let's finish the box. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's a face mask, but it's in a... What flavour is it? Pumpkin and honey. Look how orange that is. If I do this face mask, is someone going to report me to YouTube because I'm taking the piss out of Oompa Loompas? I can't believe I can't do my charcoal or my peat face masks anymore because channels have been shut down for that. But look at that, pumpkin and honey. How cool. I'm going to do this. I want my YouTube channel taken down because A, I said midget, and B, I made myself look like a fucking Oompa Loompa. Challenge. Misadvantage of Tory. Let's do this. I'm hurrying. I'm hurrying. I've got the lags. Huh? What? Still on the foreplay. I'm doing it. Hi, Jay. Thanks, Jay. I think it's much better. I talk with Tory was boring. Beige. And another person already had a channel called that. How are you? I'm doing it. Well, I was supposed to be doing an unboxing, but we've talked about Julian Assange, midgets, and Oompa Loompa face masks. All the important subjects have been covered. Yeah, I thought that too when I saw it, Mel Mel. It's a big baby poo orange. Jay, has Sophia done a poo this colour yet? I don't care. I'm going to smear it all over. Oh, you watch. I'll do that and people will be like, there's this woman on YouTube who's just put orange baby shit all over her face. In fact, I'm going to tell people, I'm not going to tell people what this is. I'm going to say that I read baby poo is really good for getting rid of wrinkles and I'm going to put this on and watch everyone puke. Yeah, a few people got into trouble for the black face mask and so did Robbie for the... Because he did the hairspray and then he put black all over his face. But I've, I've done two um, gimp mask face masks. So I, I luckily I did them before. But I, it sucks because my favourite face mask is a peat one. And it's, it's not actually black. It's like the darkest green imaginable before it's black. And it smells like I've got dirt and mud and grass on my face. Which sounds gross but it's actually amazing. And the... Mask is superb, but yeah, I'm going to do this and I'm going to tell, I'm going to do a very serious video. If any of you come in when I go live and do this, you are not to tell them, but I'm going to do, I've worked out I can actually name my videos on Thingamabob, what's that called? Streamlabs before I go live and I'm going to call it Baby Poo Facial. And if any of you come in, you're not allowed to tell anyone new that it's not baby poo. 
And if you do, I'm going to time you out while you go in the naughty corner and think about what you've done. Yeah, well, oh God, I don't want to buy a whole bag of nappies. So can you send me one of Arlo's across the um, across the ocean from Darwin, and I'll use that because I'm not buying a whole bag of nappies. A baby ship mask. This is where the misadventures of Tori. See, I'm going to start doing stuff like that. We can start punking some people. Oh, okay, Steph. So there's actually a fairly serious background story. Mud masks are fun. Oh, I get that it's because of race, but it's... Here's my question. If an Australian Aboriginal did a face mask that was white, is that racist? Because in Australia it wouldn't be. We wouldn't be all like, me. So I don't get it. Well, I mean, I do get it. I do. My child-free group, we have this issue, pops up all the time. Doesn't it, Steph? Stephanie Brown can talk about race gate. She knows. Just reading your comment, Mel. Yeah, Cadbury's delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Cadbury's is a, well, Tassie has a Cadbury factory. We make Cadbury chocolate here. But Cadbury changes around Australia based on the climate because in Tassie, we don't need to have shitloads of preservatives because it doesn't get super hot. So the Cadbury's here is a lot creamier than it is in Adelaide, but the Cadbury's in Adelaide is still really yummy, but they've got to put more preservatives in it because of the heat, but it's still delicious. Uh, tut tut Tori. I don't know why I'm... Oh, Vivian. Tut tut Tori. <laughs> I'm not changing my name again. We're staying with the misadventures. People are ultra sensitive, Jay. You're right. And I get it. I get the whole race thing. I do. But when you're just doing a um, charcoal face mask, I mean, charcoal is black. It's a fact of life. But don't worry. I mean, if that sort of stuff gets channel shut down, I won't do it. I'll use those for my own timeouts and have my own little moments on the couch with my child. I don't care. I just think it's gone a bit far. Like, I think if there's a definite racist undertone or a blatant one, then fair enough. But if it's people just putting on charcoal face masks innocently, that doesn't become a racist statement, you know. It's not until they actually say something racist. And they're not going off like to Halloween with it on or, you know, doing where, where blackface has been problematic. But it just, I, I get it. I mean, I think political correctness is important for some things. And I think things like racism, sexism, ableism, whatever it might be, as long as it's a legitimate-ism, um, I get it. I think that there are parts of our culture that have improved because of political correctness, but it's gone too far. Everyone gets offended. And I swear to God, when I do my baby shit face mask, some little person's going to accuse me of picking on Oompa Loompas. Bring it on, I say. Bring it fucking on. Because Oompa Loompas aren't real, for starters. Now, can we get on with my unboxing? <laughs> I keep saying gross. Hi, Kim Smith. What's gross, Jay? You don't like the Cadbury cream eggs? Deliberately racist, totally agreed. Steph, down with it, boo, it's fucked. New Zealand sold Cadbury to Australia. Yeah, but Cadbury's from England originally anyway. It does come down to intention, Aussie girl. Totally agree, Mel, what you're talking about, Willis. That would be racist, yes. I don't remember that little boy, Nick, no... Natanui? No, I don't, Karina. I don't know what's real in Bridget's heart, but I'm glad that something in your heart is real. Now I feel like I'm getting down low and I'm like that woman in the kitchen with 800 people watching her do this.
I don't understand what you're saying, one love. What are you saying about Chris Watts, one love? I don't understand. She's got a face like this. I've never done that before. I didn't know I had that skill. Now I can't do it again. I went in there and said some funny things and I got blocked within 30 seconds of arriving. Apparently you're not allowed to be funny on that channel. All I was, I was like, how the fuck are there 800 people? I didn't say that, but like, there's 800 people watching a woman who has to read the screen. I mean, she might be lovely, don't get me wrong. Maybe she's got a huge following because she had a blog. I don't know. But it blows my tits off. And it's nothing personal, it's just not my cup of tea. But I cannot believe she gets 800 people. And I just, you know, she was talking about Italian food. And I, I mean, I'm passionate about that shit. And she's Italian. I thought there'd be a bit of, you know, get some food in you. And she was not, well, she might have been fine, but her mods weren't. Her, she, we know we're talking before about mods that are a little bit grumpy. Don't crack jokes in some of those channels or you'll get blocked. Yeah, the music, it was funny you just said that. Because I just noticed it's gone full on techno. All right. Oh, I think I've got some, I thought this would be kombucha, but it's not, it's organic coconut water, passion, passion fruit flavoured. Hey, what's this kefir thing? I keep thinking like I should try it. Is this, is it like, <laughs> I'm having a full rave here, man. Um... Kefir, because I keep seeing it and thinking I should try it and I'm like Google it. So it's still milk, it's just, oh, it's a fermented, so it's like a thin yogurt. Okay, all right. Well, I'll give this a crack. It's coconut water kefir, passion fruit flavoured. Might be nice with vodka. What else have we got? Is Mel Mel still here? She had to go ages ago. Reese's eggs. I love Reese's anything. Um, uh, yeah, I, I don't like super sweet stuff. Reese's, oh my God, Reese's everything. I bought so much Reese's in America. I mean, we could get Reese's here, but there were things in America that you couldn't get here. And I just love Reese's. If I see Reese's anywhere, I'm like, oh, they were little um, squares. They weren't Reese's Pieces, they were little chocolate coated squares of, oh my god, they were good. Um, this is a smoky barbecue super dip mix from More Life. And you just, here we go, we're talking about mixing shit with yogurt. So this has got chia, beetroot, tomato and goji. Oh, it's going to be red. But um, you mix it with yogurt. I love a dip and I've always got yogurt. That might be a nice little snackerani when I'm doing a live one night. We might try that. Generally not a fan of the beetroot, but odd collection of flavours. Cheer I get. Beetroot, tomato and goji. I mean, goji's normally quite sweet. Well, the chocolate coated goji berries are. Anywho, that. The granola thing, there's a, oh yeah, I can get some sachets. They gave me a code to get sachets. Oh, there's shitloads of flavours. Look at them all. So that's cool. That's it. Oh no, what's this? Ultra Echo. Oh, it's a sea salt truffle. Hang on, I'll finish my rum. Yeah, Reese's are orange and brown. I can't stand Whitaker's. No offence, Blue Topaz. I think it's disgusting. It tastes... I don't like it. <laughs> no, nah, Cadbury's, 100%. Whitaker's tastes... It doesn't melt in your mouth. The best chocolate I've had is all the German chocolate that... Adri sent me, oh my God, the German chocolate shits all over Whitaker's and Cadbury's as far as I'm concerned. That shit was good. 
Belgian chocolate, Dutch chocolate. But yeah, sorry, Blue Topaz, I have to agree. I don't like those Whittaker's sam samplers. People got in the habit of giving them to each other as Christmas presents for years. I'm sure that it was one box. It was just being re-gifted around Australia a hundred times. Yeah. I do like lint. I love Lindor balls. Mmm. We do get Whitakers in Australia, yes. Eat the dip. I could eat the dip. Good idea, Mel. I could have... Imagine that if, I'm, if I've got a baby shit face and I've got and then I... People are going to be puking at that and then if I start eating while I've got baby shit. Oh, my God. Seriously, guys. How many of there are you? 22. Secret squirrel. When I do this face mask and I'm telling them it's baby poo, uh... None of you are allowed to, to tell otherwise. And, yeah, I'm going to make that dip and eat that at the same time. I'm going to eat this now, though, this Echo Truffle. Alter Eco. Isn't that a clever name? Sea Salt Truffle. Shove this fucker in my face. Mmm. Oh. I was worried. Put your hands in the air like you just don't care. Ooh -wah, ooh -wah. One ramen on anybody's. There's no focus now. Mmm. Yum. It's exactly like a salted caramel Lindor ball. It's exactly like a lip. That's so good. Mmm, yum. That could have been a limp ball. I mean, it's not. Yum. I don't normally like health food shop chocolate. Like, if you're going to eat chocolate, eat the real shit. Stop all this carob nonsense. Um, do Cadbury use palm oil? I've got the palm oil book I don't eat chocolate that often anyway but um the Sophia must we have to invite Sydney Sydney along to watch me do the Sophia mask I mean I know Nutella's got palm oil but I didn't know Cadbury had palm oil are you sure I've got the book that has all the brands that it's like not a book even it's a booklet sustainable palm oil so it's not from orangutan centrals is what they're saying or well, sustainable like they can extract it and keep regenerating the forests Oh, no, there's there's lots of different recipes for protein balls. They don't all taste like feet. I remember um, on one of the cooking shows, somebody used palm sugar in a recipe and everyone went fucking mental, like on a forum, and they were going, oh, I'm not voting for them anymore. I don't, I don't want them to win their assholes. They're using palm sugar. And everyone was like, um, it's palm sugar is fine. It's not palm oil. Same difference. Uh, no, very different. Hey, listen to the musics now, Jay. didn't take off. I was expecting it to like go bang and it didn't. Here we go guys. The fuck? There's always these random sound effects. Like, did you hear that little whistle then? Fucking hell. So. Um... This 
$3.95. Oh, damn, there was a Tammy, a Tammy, a tangy turmeric flavoured. I got the random beetroot berry combo. But anyway, we'll give it a whack. This drink is $4.50. Shit, don't hold that over my new laptop and smash it. $4.50. The tea bags, those, those beautiful um, yummy tea bags, my favourite brand of tea. They, um, the higher living stuff, $3.70, that box, which Joe will be like, what the fuck did you do with the box? It's got colouring in for grown-ups on the inside. This box has always got something cute. Like sometimes it'll have a little bit of Shakespearean extract or it might be the notes of a, to play a song. There's always something in there that's cool. Um, but the higher living... 15 tea bags and I love it. It's my favourite brand, so that was cool. This little drinky poo is four bucks or three ninety nine. Let's round it up. Um oh the pumpkin <laughs> mask. This I'm gonna have so much fun with this. Um see stuff like this. That's why I like subscription boxes, because I can't be fuck going out shopping and they just send this crap to me and I'm like, well, there's a live right there. Um for the full pot of this you're looking at 22 bucks or 23 bucks but I mean obviously that's just a single serve that truffle that I just ate a bag of them is 10 bucks or 9.95 sorry the granola yum um, that's three dollar fifty and the hemp Snack bar, it's four bucks. So, you know, add it up. I don't know. I'm pretty happy. What does the recipe involve? Oh, the recipe is spotlighting this product, the beetroot dip thing. So instead of making that for a dip, I can actually make veggie croquettes. Oh, no, fuck that. It's just to make some vegetable croquettes and have that still as a dip. We're making the dip. All right, so there's the box. I'm going to do the single swag on the weekend. How long have I been crapping on for ever? Uh, shit, nearly two hours. Um... Bye, Mel. Love you. I'm going to go and feed the um, the floofs. The chat is way too small. It's big on my phone. It's piddly. It's like Tommy Lee up there and some little acorn dicked person down there. Like up there's Tommy Lee. Down there is micro penis size chat. I've got to keep experimenting with Streamlabs. I want a Streamlab mod. How do I get that? Do I have to be monetized, Jay? I love that you, I love that you gave a wrench to the Streamlabs thing that says you've got a new subscriber. Is there anyone watching who hasn't subscribed yet? Because if not, can somebody subscribe? Oh, shit, I'm so behind in chat. Heaps of people probably left. Bye, Mel, Mel, Mel. Mel, my Mel, my Mel. Yeah, I'll have a look into the Cadbury thing, Blue Topaz. Um, but like I said, I, I mean, I, I got sent a giant box of chocolates from Germany and I'm still eating my way through it. And then these subscription boxes rock up with little sweet treats all the time as well. I actually can't remember the last time I bought chocolate outside of getting it out of one of the boxes. Oh, mac and cheese. She might have already gone. That's sad. Um, thank you for popping in, though. I love how Mel Barrow always arrives when I'm talking genitals, but I only just saw that comment from mac and cheese. Anywho... I need, so what things I've learned today, one, the chat box is way too small. Oh, she, where's some feedback from you, Grooveroonies? And there's 21 people. If there is, if there's anyone watching who hasn't subscribed yet, 
Can you hit the subscribe button? I'm not doing it to build subs. I just want to show you my favorite thing about Streamlabs. Doesn't work, Sandy. Streamlabs knows, apparently. Genitals, I'm all ears. I know, we just need Joe the Veg Wilson to rock up now and we'll have a full party in full swing. But yeah, Jay, I want to know, <laughs> with with your Streamlabs thing, that little dude in chat, he says if, if you get a super chat, but he also says if you've got a new subscriber. But is that because you're monetized? Because I, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but in the bigger channels like Jay's for Justice, um, her Streamlabs puts a little notification in chat and she took, she gave it a wrench. <laughs> she made it a mod. And it, for some reason, this is how stupid I am or how lame I am, my sense of humour. For some reason, I think that is the funniest thing ever that Streamlabs has got a little wrench. I don't know why. I just think it's fucking hilarious. I don't think it works, old Mafra. Oh, I hope you don't miss the whole funeral, um, but lots of love, mac and cheese. Oh, thank you, Kerry. I appreciate that. That's really sweet. Well, well, we're in Oz, I'm in Oz too, as you would know. Oh, it's a Streamlabs option. I've got to experiment, but do you, is that... Um, do you have Streamlabs on your computer? Because I've only got it on my phone. And I've started looking at things, but it seems quite limited. I mean, I love it. I'm not criticising it. I really love Streamlabs. I'm finding it way easier to navigate than OBS. OBS just confused the crap out of me. But um, have you got it on your computer as well or just on your phone? Because, yeah, I want a Streamlabs mod. <laughs> I love it. When he gave him the wrench and he's just like, he's so enthusiastic. He uses, I don't know why I think it's a dude, but he uses so many exclamation marks. He gets really excited if you get a new sub or anything. He's like, yeah, but it just cracks me up that he's got a wrench. It reminds me of Kraft. Oh God, I haven't had Kraft mac and cheese for ages. I used to love that shit. God, it was good. Oh, it's a setting on the website. Okay. Oh, poor one, love. Um, you have to, you just opt for it to be, you, they give you the options of who, where you want to broadcast and you just say YouTube. And that's it. Don't have JT on your phone. Bye, Vivian. Um, hey, Viv, can we? I shouldn't call you Viv. That's rude. I don't know you that well. Can we um catch up next time I'm in Adelaide in May? And I'll do the single swag on the weekend. That's enough excitement for one night. I'm just looking forward to doing the Sophia mask. We've got to get Sydney to come and watch it. Although she probably won't find it funny, Jay. She'll be like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, but they're not. They shouldn't be covering up my face because I've shrunk them, old man. I tried to move them. I'm still learning. You can move it. Like on, on my phone at the moment, my head is there and all the chat's going up this side. But on my computer, yeah, the chat's down in the bottom left-hand corner my face is kind of in that corner but it's tiny i am going to watch cameron and i believe that he is a hoot bye karina mel's going to try and subscribe with her friend's phone thanks jay i'd love a tutorial because i i mean i don't want to steal your idea just uh, for some reason i don't think people have picked up on it i don't think people realize that the Streamlabs bot is it's doing your little announcements for you with 
great enthusiasm. I don't think people realise it's a bot and that you gave a bot a wrench. But for some reason, I don't know why. And I always read what Streamlabs says because the enthusiasm and positivity radiating, radiating out of that little bot is amazing. One love will work this out together. You reckon you reckon Sydney will love if we do this, Sophia Mask? Cool. Right, so Mel subscribed. Because I've got a little thing that should... There should be a little... Hola, Hazel. It wasn't your idea to give the wrench? I thought you asked if you should give it a wrench and we were all like, yeah. Even if it wasn't, it's fucking hilarious. I haven't seen a Streamlabs mod anywhere else, so take credit for it. <laughs> oh my God, mac and cheese <laughs> priorities. I um, think we could leave the coffee till after the funeral. Bloody hell. Unless it's an espresso martini, if it's that kind of a coffee. Yeah, I don't know. Where's your little... um? I've got a box. I've had it before. I remember it did it the other night and I didn't know what it was. And I was like, what the fuck was that? And you were all like, oh, it's a new sub. It's not doing it. Hola again, Hazel. No, vent away, mac and cheese. Coffee in the cemetery, very normal. <laughs> Fuck you, crack me up. You are so funny. Night, Bridget Parker. Sweet dreams. Mac and cheese is hilarious, Blue Topaz. We do love the Streamlabs bot. Hilariousness. I need one too. Because it just... <laughs> I think whoever's... I think Streamlabs is actually quite entertaining. Well, if you do kill her on the way to the funeral, you can just put her in the same hole as the other person. Who was it? Your aunt's husband? Or... I did read it, but then I got caught up in talking about... I've got a crush on a bot. Um, but thanks for that feedback, the feedback, old Mar, about the, over my face. I am still experimenting where to put my little chat box. It's all fun and new right now. It looks perfect on my phone. I knew it would, but it just doesn't look great on the computer. Your husband's aunt. Okay, cool. Sorry. Aunt's husband, husband's aunt. Right. Well, yeah, maybe she and her sister can, <laughs> your sister and her can, Rest in peace together. <laughs> Bloody families. Although you did say it was your husband's family. So is this your sister-in-law? Yes, sorry. Hit the like, Groovers. Scream it. <laughs> you crack me up, One Love. So everyone's got to subscribe to One Love because she's the most positive, happy person. And I'm not saying that, um, like, I think some YouTube people promote other people a little bit too I don't know what's the word you know they they just make them sound like they're perfect human beings and none of us are but one love honestly the chat the other night and even your comments under my videos you are such a lovely positive caring person and you're just so quick to say lovely things to people and it's really refreshing so nice so, so nice. I read a book last year that sort of said try and compliment one person a day and I've managed to do it every single day since I read it. And this, the conversations that I'm having with people and the people that I've met and some that I've kept in touch with, just from saying something nice, even if you're just walking down the street and you, there's a girl or a guy walking towards you and they're wearing something that looks great on them, I always go, great frock, awesome jacket, and keep walking because you know that as you walk away from them, they're just like, yeah. Someone noticed. It's just, yeah, and, and you're you're that you're embodying that that philosophy, one love. You're such a gorgeous, 
positive, lovely, but not um, in a saccharine way. You're just gorgeous. Down to earth, but just so openly kind. It's really lovely. Good work, old ma. Hey, old ma, were you in here before? Tommy came in from Tommy's Goats and Deer live cam. And, <laughs> and he didn't have any sound. And then I was talking about Tommy Lee having a huge dick and then he didn't come back. I mean, he came back and said he had sound. I was like, oh, we're talking about Tommy Lee's big dick. And then he left. But he was here. But I don't believe, I mean, I don't blame him for not hanging around. I was doing an unboxing. But I was talking to him about my wildlife. I thought he would have, he might still be here. Maybe he's listening. He's just not chatting. But I was very excited. It was like celebrity visitor. Tommy's Goats and Deer live cam channel. And I asked, I said, where have the goaties gone? And he said they've been moved to a different spot. And it was snowing. He, I went and had a look at his website and it was snowing. When is it going to stop snowing in America? Your winter's just never going to go away. Yep, two funerals for the price of one. I always hit like on the way in too. I feel like that's kind of the fact that you've actually bothered to go to the channel means it's like, to me, it's the same as doing stand-up. We get announced and we get a round of applause before we even tell a joke. <laughs> so I kind of feel like I'm passing on the love. Just the fact that you've gone to that channel, give it a like. I mean, if you get a thumbs down, that's still in YouTube's eyes is still engagement. They don't really care. But psychologically, I think it can affect people. It has affected me. Not on a general one like this, but the one I did about my friend who died, I was a bit pissed off that people gave that the thumbs down. I thought that was pretty, pretty cunty, actually. Tommy Lee was here. <laughs> no, Tommy's live goats and deer farm, birthing, fainting goats, birthing live channel that I put a couple of my subs onto and old my frere and I can't remember, was it Ebeth or Beth M, one of them? And we saw the baby goats being bonded. It was amazing. Yeah, that's lovely blue tape. It makes you feel good, doesn't it? And I've noticed since I've started complimenting people, but the people are complimenting me, but it's not the same. It's not like I say nice dress and they go great shoes. But I've noticed... The, you know, you put stuff out in the universe, it does come back to you. Like I've noticed people are being a lot, I'm meeting or I'm just encountering some really lovely people. It's nice. I encourage it. The game of 56, you've subscribed, it's not doing it. <sighs> Bummed. I don't know why. Thanks for trying though, game of 56. YouTube, YT. You stay warm and cosy, one love. Yeah, it's okay. The south is already hot as hell. Bye, Sandy. Your gamer, 56. I thought that might be you, MB. All right, so thanks, Groovers. I've hit the wall and I've hit my two hours. I'm sure of it. Oh, I've gone over. Um, thanks for hanging out. We'll do this over the weekend. Single swag. And we'll also do the Sophia's facial. <laughs> um, and I also want to do a walk on the beach and talk to you guys about Four Ocean, which is a charity that I love. Because next Wednesday, um, I'm flying to Byron Bay, where I'm going to be for 10 days over Easter and beyond for Blues Fest, which is like anyone who knows me really well knows the probably the most important thing to me in my life is music. And... Um, I love music festivals. That they're my tribe, and it's five days of the most amazing lineup. So I'm going to be doing um, a lot of uploading of videos. I'm going to try and do at least 
one song of every act that I go and see. And if you're not into live music, that's fine. I don't expect you to sit and watch me uploading all these different songs, but I've made it a goal for myself to see every single act at Blues Fest. And I've been going through the um, timetable and there's a few clashes. So like there's some bands that I'm going to have to go and see for like 15 minutes and then run and see another one for 10 and then go and see another one for five or 10. But I just feel like doing this sort of mission. Um, but I also know I'm going to miss a couple because there's some artists like David Gray, not Dave Graney, um, David Gray from England. I won't miss a second of him. So um, there's quite a few performers that, yeah, I'll, I'll miss a few. But so I'll be in Byron Bay, but I will do a beach walks. No, I said a beach walks. I'll try and do some beach walks up there because the beaches are, you know, it's still really warm up there and they've got these crazy surf beaches. And I'll take you around the Blues Fest site on Thursday before the crowds get too big so we can have a really good look at um, what a music festival setup looks like before 25, 30,000 people arrive. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited about that. So I'll be doing something slightly different, taking you on some travels, and there'll certainly be some misadventures, I'm sure. I will keep an eye out for Chris Hemsworth, for sure. I saw him at the last one. What's about I don't see him at this one? One love. Thank you, darling. See you next time. I agree, Blue Topaz. Oh, you're, I don't know how to pronounce your name. You, you, Ewusia, Ewusia. I don't know why the little banner of subscribers didn't work. It worked the other night. I was so excited. I'll have to keep mucking around. It's all fun, though. It's all a learning experience. I'm just bummed that anyone who, stay groovy, Aussie. I don't know how to pronounce Awusia's name. I always feel like it's wrong if I go Awusia. Um, but obviously, Chris Hemsworth, I will be trying to get celebrity photos and chat to band members. I mean, last Blues Fest, I tweeted about Jackson Brown just saying what a lovely man he was and how he still had an amazing voice. And then the next thing on Twitter was like, Jackson Brown is following you. And I was like, fuck, Jackson Brown's following me. And like... <laughs> My, if anyone who's looked at my Twitter account, I basically, I used to troll um, reality TV shows. Well, not troll, but I used to write these really um, sarcastic, sometimes comical tweets about reality shows. And I'm like, fuck, Jackson Brown's following me on Twitter. I've actually got to do some something of substance, some content. So there'll be moments like that. But, yeah, I'm really looking forward to showing you another part of Australia that's very, very important to me and very... um very special to me. I go up to Byron Bay most Easters. One of my oldest friends from university lives there and she's got a chai, um, chai and food stall and it's amazing food. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to taking you to Blues Fest. But if you're not into music festivals and live music, then you probably won't watch anything from me for a couple of weeks because I'll be away for 10 whole days. Oh, you've got Blues, Blues Fest CDs, Blue Tape has. Well, I suspect you will um, enjoy what I get up to over the next couple of weeks. Correct one, love. You've got to be genuine in the compliments, for sure. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm getting genuine compliments back now. It's really lovely. Just remember, Tori, not all that watch comment. True, Kerry, you're right. You are right. Big hugs right back at you too, beautiful. Vixen. Oh, oh, that's really sweet, Vixen. Thank you. I haven't been on Oni's channel for a while. I remember that the last... Well, I've only ever been on there once. Or was I on Jay's channel? No, it was Oni's. Was it? Or was it Jay's and Jay and Oni and I were on Jay's? Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I always feel like I don't say anything of substance. So that's really sweet, Vixen. I appreciate that very much. It's lovely to have you here. Night, Helen. Oh, look at all the floofs. And I agree with um, 
blue topaz carry it's lovely that you've got to the point that you say hi and stuff so that's really lovely not that i mind like anyone who watches and doesn't comment that's cool too there's nothing wrong with lurking i used to lurk in a chris watts facebook group because i was too scared to comment because i knew the majority of people in there completely disagreed with my view which was he killed all of them <laughs> so i just would read read and watch shit storms unravel but then from that, I ended up discovering all these people that are creative and have got content and interesting things to talk about. And I kind of escaped that world. I didn't really want to land in the YouTube equivalent of it. So, yeah, it, I, you know, the Chris Watts case, holy shit, God, it brought so many people together around the world. It's quite remarkable. I don't think there's been another case in any of our lifetimes that has united people so strongly. It's quite... I might do a Chris Watts thing. Just, I mean, my Chris Watts experiment is to see. I'm just going to put the Chris Watts experiment in my header and it's not clickbait because it is literally an experiment. And we'll just listen to some music like this. And just see how many people come in because apparently you can get 800 people watching you if you put Chris Watts in the title and pretty much just do this. Oh, you think so, Blue Topaz? But I don't understand what you're saying, one girl. I mean, one love. <laughs> I like that too. Anywho, this is the time of night where I just talk start talking absolute rubbish uh, don't come on my youtube channel and take the spotlight singing using words and stuff so much for instrumentals who is this cat I wonder if he's a blues fest so there'll be plenty of people like him at Blues. Anyway, yeah, at this point of night, really, there's not a lot that Tori has to offer. Um, but thanks for joining me. Um, it is like sitting in a living room, but it's also that point of the night where people, are, you can see them yawning and they're like, yeah, it's really time to go. Uh, so I'm going to free you all of that. So I've got a few lives to do over the next few days. That's another thing about my channel, anyone who's new. I don't have a regular schedule. I don't go live every set day, set time of the week. I'm erratic and unpredictable, which is exactly what all the YouTube creator, how to become a great YouTube channel people say you shouldn't do. Kind of any advice about how to be a success on YouTube, I'm doing the exact opposite because it suits me. Hence the misadventures because you can't, we can't all be idiots if there's a lot of us, you know. But it is, you're right, uh, my friend. It's like hanging out in a living room, but we also go on some little adventures. And um, I'm going to go because I keep playing with this bit of string. I'm a fiddler. I've just been sitting here playing with it. And it's not interesting. For anyone, even me. Thanks, Vixen. We do have fun. We do have fun. Um, but I've got jet lag. I've flown from all the way from South Australia to the shores of Tasmania. It has been quite a day. I have flown over the seas and now I feel fatigued. And I'm also really, really looking forward to getting into my bed. I haven't been here for, yeah, 10 days. There's nothing better than getting into your bed. So I got home, I unpacked everything, I made dinner, I changed the sheets on my bed and I'm good to go. Woohoo! Uh, there will be, oh yeah, Mel, Donut Boy. <laughs> Fuck. I'd forgotten about him. Wasn't he lovely? We loved Donut Boy. God, that feels like forever ago, doesn't it? Bella Blue, hello. Where the hell have you been? I miss you, but Blue Topaz is here too. 
Yes, there will be streaming at Blues Fest. What I'm actually going to do too is um, put about $500 credit into my phone bill because I'm going to be using mobile data. It's going to get crazy. Um, but I will do the best I can. I'm really looking forward to taking you all to Byron Bay with me. But guys, i got to go because, you know, Bella Blue just arrived, so it's time for us all to... <laughs> I'm kidding, Bella Blue, but I am wrapping this up. Fuck, two hours and 20 minutes. Pardon me. And there's still 14 of you in here? Crazy. Streamlabs just said something. I think they said, get off. Get off now. Um, so, the, we've got the blues are reuniting, a bit of scissoring for the blues. Um, thank you everyone for hanging out with me and we'll do the single swag unboxing. I'll probably do it like it'll be morning time in Australia, so it's night time in America. Um, and have a great Friday for all of you in countries where it's Friday. Have a lovely Thursday day and night for everyone where it's still Thursday. See you on the weekend. Donut Boy. <laughs> I'm going to go back and check out Donut Boy again. God, that feels like years ago, doesn't it? And that was only back in March or February. Crazy. March, I think it was. It was only like four weeks ago. It feels like forever ago. No, it was, sorry, it was during Adelaide Fringe. It was February. Anyway, Groovers, that's what I mean. I get pedantic, boring. Um, I start being a nerd. I've got to get dates and numbers right. My brain, it takes a lot of work. Uh, interesting news that broke tonight, for those of you who are interested in WikiLeaks, Julian Assange has been arrested arrested the embassy the ecuadorian embassy went you have taken the piss get the fuck out and as soon as he was out on the street bang arrested and they're saying sweden saying not really that interested may or may not but it sounds like he's going to be extradited to the u.s so that was the breaking news other than that thanks for hanging out with me compliment someone compliment a stranger in the next 24 hours just say something nice to someone genuine from the heart and see how it makes you feel stay groovy everyone um chat soon love you guys bye